In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install and operate a Zigbee Yale door lock into the Ruckus IoT controller. From the Ruckus IoT controller dashboard, you would go to the IoT APs tab. Then you would select the AP. And you notice on the right that we have a window here for scan for IoT devices. What I'm going to do is scan for the IoT device. But before I do that, you need to know your specific device's discovery process. Each IoT endpoint has a specific sequence for registering with the Ruckus IoT controller. In this case, I'm going to have to do the following with this Yale lock. I'm going to enter the master code followed by pound. Then I'm going to press 7 followed by pound. And then I'm going to press 1 followed by pound. And then I'm going to wait for up to 60 seconds for the scanning to complete. So in this case, I have a camera focused on the lock, and I'm going to go ahead and initiate the scan. So I'll click on the scan device and then punch in the code. And as you can see, it's going ahead and scanning. Now we've discovered the lock, so I'm going to give the device a name, and I'm going to call it the, the Zigbee Yale lock. And then I'm going to accept says the operation was successful, and then I'm going to stop the scanning. I'll close the window. Now, if I go to my IoT devices, you'll see that I now have the device in the window. And if I click on that, you'll see a window come up on the right side, and it says the Zigbee Yale lock. I can click the arrow to expand the window. So we have device information. It says it's a door lock, it gives the time, it gives the identity, talks about the basic information. And then on the left, I have a control panel. So I can unlock the door or I can lock the door. So I've turned the lock so we can see it. So right now the door is locked. So I'm going to hit apply to unlock it. And as you'll see, that took a few seconds to do that. Now I can lock it by hitting apply. Now the door is locked. Let's go through that process one more time. I can apply it to unlock it. And hit apply again to lock it. So as you can see, in this case, I have a Zigbee IoT Yale lock, and I can control that lock from the Ruckus IoT controller. If I go back to the dashboard, You'll see now that I have one device that is registered on my dashboard. So you notice that red means that it's greater than a day since this lock has been operated. If it's orange, it's one hour to one day. Blue means five minutes to one hour. And green means less than five minutes. So it's a little bit of a barometer to tell you what's going on. As you can see at the bottom, we have the device by protocol, which is Zigbee. And we have the IoT AP by protocol, which is Zigbee as well. If for some reason I wanted to delete that device, I could go back to the IoT devices and I could select the item and then I could hit the trash can here for removing that particular device. So as you can see in this case, it's easy to discover, configure, and operate an IoT Zigbee Yale lock using the Ruckus IoT controller. 